Hey, it's Nate. Today, I get to help my niece and her friends make caramel apples. Yum. Oh, I've been counting on this all week. You know, I bet we could use making caramel apples to make sense of counting and get another problem solved. Hey, guys. Hi. I hope I didn't miss anything. No, we are just starting. You can sit next to Alex. Great. OK, where do we start? First, we need to count the number of apples we have. I can do that. Oh, whoops, they went all over. One, two, three, four, five. You counted that one already. Really? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're going too fast. You counted this one twice. No, slow down. Slow down your counting and make sure each apple gets counted once and only once. Children often miss items or count some items more than once. Sometimes they double count the last item because they are counting too fast to keep track of each item. Why don't you try moving the apples into rows? That might help. Like this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Or make two rows of five like this so it's easier to see the ten and the two extras. So, how many apples are there? Well, there are one, two, three, four, five. No, you just counted them. The last number is the total number. You don't have to recount each time. Twelve? Right! Some children don't understand that the last number they say when counting is the total number of objects. So, when do we get to eat? Not yet. We have to follow the recipe on the back. Go for 10 apples and we have 12. So, do we have enough? We do have enough. Ew, but these apples are bruised. So we're not using two? No, we are using two. See? Not three and five. Two apples, not the second apple. We need to remove the third and the fifth apple. So we are removing two apples. Oh. Children sometimes confuse when a number tells how many and when a number tells order. This is not three apples. It is the third apple. This is three apples. Or this is three apples. We can just replace the two bruised apples with these two apples. Do we need to recount? No, there's still ten. Children need to understand that replacing objects does not change the number of objects. So the apples are ready, now for the sticks. The package says we have 10 sticks. Here they are, but it doesn't look like we have enough. We only have a few sticks and all these apples. Are you sure? Now we have more sticks than apples. I thought you said we only have 10 sticks. Come on, Nate. Children may think that spreading out the objects means there are more. Rearranging objects does not change the number of objects. Let's put each stick in an apple to find out if we have ten. There. Now we need to count the sticks. One, two, three, four. No, you don't need to count the sticks. We know there are ten apples, and there is one stick for each apple. There are 10 sticks. If two sets match, they have the same number of objects. We do have 10 apples and 10 sticks. Nice. Now for the fun part. Problem solved. I love caramel apples almost as much as I love math. Yum. Yum. <laughs>